I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're a beginner and you have a set of tiles at home, try playing solitaire to practice decision making in a four player game. If you already know how to play, try solitaire to test out a new style or maybe try a new strategy. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. Let's do fifth player betting. You can be the fifth player if you'd like. After the Charleston, pause the video. Look at everybody's hand and decide who you think will win the game. Then write your guess in the comment section below and include the reasons why you think they'll win the game. Try not to read any of the comments until after the video. That way you can make an unbiased guess. I'm going to do the same thing by using this better. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to pick a category or two to play. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player 1, also known as East. We have a joker, two wins, pair of dragons, single dot, four single bams, four single cracks. This is the only multiple. I want to try to use that. That is going to be the strength of this hand, I think. There is a two, four, six, eight hand that uses the matching dragon. This would be the fifth hand down under evens. Since we're keeping dragons, let's keep the wins. Two, four, six, eight with dragons, or maybe six, seven dragons. We have no flowers though. Let's pass nine, five. Well, I don't like passing year tiles together. Since we're keeping evens, let's keep the west and give up the north because I really don't want to pass five six either let's pass let's pass those three there two suits even odd and a wind even though through six and nine work for three six nine that's one category We have six dragon west. Maybe we should keep the six. Let's pass those. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as south. We have a couple of wins, couple of dragons, singles, single dots, bams with a pair, single cracks. I would build around the fives. One, five, nine, those are odds. We do have four, six, five, four, some consecutive run. I think we might be stronger with odds though. Let's see if we give up a two and an eight and play four through five, four, five, six. I kind of want to keep that one in case we get odd tiles. Hmm, let's give up a wind. So I wouldn't keep the west either. Evens with the south. We could maybe play consecutive run or odds. 
I'm not really feeling consecutive though. I am feeling odds. If we get fives, we could do like numbers and use the dragons. And there is a big odds hand with dragons. Fourth hand down, obviously, we need another suit with odds. We'll see what comes in and decide then. Let's see what we can do for West. We have a flower, couple single dragons, dots with a pair, five, six, singles in bams. Oh, there's a one, one, five, six, four, seven, nine. So three, three, here's four. The multiple is with the dots. I think I would build around that. We could play maybe like numbers with sevens in the dragons, or we could play something consecutive. Five, six, seven. So let's give these up. Now, here's the problem. We've got year tiles. Five, six, seven, or like numbers with sevens. Let's give these up and see. Let's not be left with one suit. We'll mix it up for maybe the next pass. Let's see, we can do four player four. This is also known as North. Hmm, ones, look at that, one, one. Like numbers with ones, maybe. We could do little odds, one, three, five. Let's keep little odds for an option. Little odds, maybe north and south with ones. We do have one of each suit to pass. I think these might end up going away. We'll see. We could maybe keep the north if we get a south. So we're ready for the Charleston. East passes to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We're looking for two, four, six, eight, or like numbers with sixes. We got an eight and a four and a two, two, four, six, eight. Let's give up the seven and the west. That way we're not passing like numbers. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Two, four, six, eight. Let's just keep it all. We'll gather when we run out of discards, then we'll pick a hand. Here we are thinking odds. We did get a nine and a five. We'll put it in suit there. Let's go ahead and give up evens and pass four, six, north. So now we're focused on odds. We may or may not be able to use this. We might go big odds. If you haven't noticed, in the odd category, for 2019, two hands use the whole range, one, three, five, seven, nine. The first hand and the last hand. All the others use either one, three, five, or five, seven, nine. That's why I call them little odds and big odds. I think we're heavy into big odds here, so this may go away. We're gonna keep it though, because we do have discards, and we're not gonna pick a hand. We have, there's so many hands we could play, even like numbers with fives. Here we're collecting consecutive run or sevens. We did get an eight. Oh, look, we got a new multiple. Anytime you get a new multiple, reassess. In this case, we have way more consecutive numbers, five through eight, than we do the twos. So, I would break that up unless we were to play maybe addition seven, five, 12, but we have no five, 
no one and only one flower. I would break it up. We got a one. Now we do have a nine. We could maybe play a year hand, but there are no like numbers in the year category, except for the very first one. But we wouldn't be able to use both ones. I would not keep it. We're gonna pass them. Little odds or like numbers with ones or maybe north and south with ones if we get a south. North, north and south with ones would be the fourth hand down and it's any odd number. Here we have ones. So we went right, now we're gonna go across. So east and west pass, north and south. Two, four, six, eight is what we're looking for here. We did get a two. Oh, and we have tiles to pass. Let's keep the two and just see what happens. Big odds, we got a nine. We'll keep it and pass those three. So we're not gonna pick a hand till we run out of discards. We got a seven, five, six, seven, 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 eight, two, one, west. Let's pass those. Consecutive run, five through eight. We'll see what happens. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. We do have all the sevens. Maybe like numbers would be the way to go here. Whoops. We've got a north. Let's keep it and pass these. Whoops. So we're ready to continue. We went to cross. Now we're going to do first left. So east passes up to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. Two, four, six, eight. We've got an eight and a four. One discard, all two, four, six, eight with dragons. We developed a new multiple. So we have two, four, six, eight potential. I think we could maybe give up the two, eight. That's a little risky, passing two, eight in one suit. Two, four, we could maybe play two, eight, four, six. We have no flowers though. This would be fourth hand down under evens. I really kind of like this hand here though. Two, four, dragon, six, eight. Fifth hand down. Maybe we could hold the fours and play like numbers with four. So let's go ahead and let's pass two and six. Focus on one suit with dragons, maybe like numbers with fours. We got a one. I don't know, two, four, west, that's pretty risky. Ones, these ones. There is a concealed hand, one, three, five in one suit, five, seven, nine in a second suit. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. I still wanna keep the dragons. Let's give up the one and break that up a little. We still might be able to do like numbers with fives. We've got a six, five, six, seven, six, seven, seven, eight. I would not pass a flower. It'd be nice if we could use it. We could do six, seven, dragon. Six, seven, six, seven, and one, uh, two suits.
Let's keep the seven in case we can do like numbers with dragons and pass the five. Let's give up on the five. We got a one and a south. I think north and south with ones looks really good. This again would be fourth hand down under winds and dragons. Pair flowers, pair north, pair south. Kongs of ones. We'll pass those. That was first left. We are now going to second left. Now, north could think about stopping the Charleston. The risk here is if they get a south or one of the ones or maybe even a flower, they would have to break up their hand to do the cross pass. Here, we could give up ones because we could always claim, claim it for a discard maybe later and maybe even use a joker. So I don't think I would stop the Charleston. I think I would go ahead and pass. Let's say though, they decide to stop the Charleston. Instead of stopping the Charleston and passing three, stop the Charleston and say you want two. And that way you won't be questioned on your reason for not continuing the Charleston. Because a lot of people say if you have three, push through. But some people don't have the confidence to make the decision to break up the hand. They just want to stick with what they have and that's fine. It's every player's prerogative to stop the Charleston. So that's one thing you could do. Just say you want to. Here, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna risk it because we could always discard one of these and recover with a joker later or maybe get it back in the second Charleston. So we're gonna keep going. East passes to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We did get a four dot. That might help with like numbers if we do that. And we do have tiles we can pass. We got a five and tiles to pass. 2-4, but at least they're mixed suit. We got a, a 5, we got a 7, and an 8. 6-7, six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven are like numbers with 7s. So let's give up the 8 and keep the dragons. If we pair up the 7 crack, I would probably go with like numbers with 7s. If we pair up the six or the seven here, or even this six, I'd probably give up the red dragon and maybe even the seven crack. Let's pass those and see what happens. No keeper. We're going across, east and west, north and south. No keepers. That's a fine pass. Two, four, six, eight with dragons or like numbers with fours. We were looking for big odds or fives. Whoops. We got an eight, seven, eight dragon, six, seven, six, seven, Consecutive run, second hand from the bottom, like numbers with sevens. I think that's enough options. I would not, I would give up on the eight and focus on either like numbers with sevens or six, seven, second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. No keepers. We're on last right. East passes to south, south to west, west to north, and north to east. Oh, we got a four. A pung, 
of fours. Maybe we should play two, four, six, eight. Or like numbers with fours and use the dragon. Like numbers with fours or two, four, six, eight. Optional tiles here. We could still maybe do two, four, six, eight with dragons. Let's give up the two east and just pass two for optional cross. Oh, we got a five. Two tiles. Oh, look at one, three, five. Okay, this is that hand I was talking about. One, three, five. Concealed. Five, seven, nine. Or really like numbers with fives looks pretty good. We have no sevens. At this point, I think I would switch to little odds and give up on the nines. Probably here, I would pass two because I would not pass like numbers with nines. I think I would focus on little odds or like numbers with fives. We got a six, six, seven, or six, seven, like numbers with sevens, I'd pass two. No, no keepers, but we do have a one. So if the south goes down and we're not ready for it, we could always play like numbers with ones, Kongs, with a pair of flowers. Let's pass two. Everybody wants two for optional cross. East and West, North and South. We got a two. We really don't need it. We already have a two, four. I would discard those. No keepers. I would discard probably in that order. I like to discard your tiles if I'm not using them. Really just to make sure nobody's playing the big ear hand. Let's see what we have here. Two, nah, it doesn't matter. We went six through, six, seven, really. No keepers here. I would discard the nine first. So we're done with the Charleston. Here we have either like numbers with four or Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Six tiles versus seven tiles. We do have some two, four, six, eight second hand down cracks with bams. That's six. I think really we probably have six discards no matter how you slice it. Here we're playing little odds we have four discards for any number of hands. We could even play like numbers. So I'd say we have four discards right now. Here we have six, seven consecutive run or like numbers with seven. So we have options and two discards. Here we have our hand, north and south with ones. We need a flower or a south and we'll be set. Two discards. So this is where you can pause the video and choose who you think will win. Write in the comment section below why you think they'll win the game. And I'm gonna do the same thing using this better. And I'll put it right here. We'll start by discarding two dot. Muse this to mark whose turn it is. Two bam, whoops. We could maybe do something consecutive, one through five. Let's just hold it and get rid of the nine. Seven crack. All right, now six, seven, six, seven. Let's get rid of this two. We still don't have to make a choice 
but I think like numbers with sevens looks good or the second from the bottom under consecutive run using dots and cracks. Four bam, let's get rid of the nine. Okay, nine crack, discard. Joker will keep it and discard nine crack. We still don't have to pick a hand here. I think the two probably can go. I think I would focus on little odds or like numbers with fives, if, especially if we can get the five dot. Let's draw. East. We can discard that. East. We did get five, six, seven. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. Not in this case. Let's draw. North. We have a pung. Let's just keep it for a minute and get rid of four bam. Six crack. Two, four, let's see, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. That would be fourth hand down, but we have no flowers and we'd have to throw away a four. Let's get rid of this west. We really don't need that. I'm thinking like numbers with fours looks the best right now. Let's just wait and see. Let's draw. Six crack. West was just thrown. Let's discard that. Four bam, that's not a keeper for them. Four bam, down here, we could claim it for the two, four, six, eight hand with dragons, but we don't have either of our pairs secured. So I don't think I would do that. I think I would rather play like numbers with fours and let it go. We have other options, two, four, six, eight, and we could also call it later because the two, four, six, eight hand with dragons, the four is a pung. That's just the first four. Oh, it's the second four. I would not take it. And I probably would not play two, four, six, eight with dragons because there's already a four out. I think I would give up on that hand and focus on either two, four, six, eight, second hand down or like numbers with fours. So we're going to draw up here. Five crack. Down here. If we play one, three, five, we might take that. If we play like numbers with fives concealed, we have no five dot. We could maybe play one, three, five with fives, fifth hand down, but we have no five dot and we'd have to throw away this. I think I'd rather play like numbers with fives concealed and use the dragon, the joker. This is a joker. So I would not take that five. I'd let it go. Let's draw. Three dot. Let's discard the three dot. We can still maybe use that too if we decide to go back to two, four, six, eight in one suit. Red dragon, that's another multiple. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking for this. Use this for the five dot and white dragons. Five dragon, five dragon. This is concealed, so we're gonna have to draw well. That is a gap. but that would leverage every multiple. Let's still keep the one three. Let's get rid of this eight. We don't need that at all. Nobody wants that tile, so we're gonna draw. There's a flower. So we can probably go ahead and get rid of this five dot now. First one out, they're playing concealed at the moment. 
east. Well, they're, they have winds. Let's keep the east and get rid of this eight. Down here, no, no, no. Okay, we're ready to go. Eight dot, we do not need that. We're in bams or cracks or fours. There's still one more four out if we play like numbers. Green dragon. Okay, that was kind of a good draw. We could maybe use this for the fives on the other end. Let's just put these together. We'll see. Let's go ahead and discard six crack. Up here, if we're playing the fifth hand down, one, two, three, four, five, fifth, sixth hand down, or second from the bottom under consecutive run, that would be the pair. So we don't we, we can't do anything with that. One crack. Not ready here. If they're playing like numbers with ones. Seven dot. We're down here, but this player could Kong it. Or they could play six, seven, six, seven with flowers. I think I would let it go and focus on that. We could still maybe play like numbers with sevens with the dragons and use this as joker bait. So I would let that go. Let's draw. We got the two. Now two, two, four. Two, four, six, eight. This is really light though. What about if we did two, four, six, eight? Two, four, six, eight. There is that one suit hand, third one down, but we have no eight cracks. Okay, let's just put these in order. We have to make a decision here. I wouldn't consider a pair hand because we have a joker. Two, four, six, eight. Second hand down or like numbers with fours. So I think what I would do is get rid of this two bam at this point. Two bam. That's a keeper. Two bam. I think like numbers with fives looks good even though we have a gap. That could be the five dots. Eight, bam. Here we wouldn't be ready to take it for a Kong. Two, four, six, eight, but we only have one joker. Three crack, that would be a discard. And nobody wants that. That was the last pick from the second wall. So now we're going into the middle game. Everybody should know what category they're playing. Here we're playing two, four, six, eight, like numbers, consecutive run, wins and dragons, or like numbers with ones. We just gave that up. We need five dot. Wrong number. Two dot. We want cracks and bams. Three dot. We want a south or a flower. Eight crack. south they need that but that's concealed that piece of the hand anyway i think these probably should go away north and south with ones 
We need a flower or a south pretty badly. Wow, look at that. Now I wouldn't consider a quint here because we don't have the right dragon paired up. We would need this dragon for the quint. I think I would play like numbers with dragons and use these as the fives. Pair, Pung, Kong. Let's just hold that and just see what happens. Because we could use that with this and use this as the Kong. So dot with dragons and use this as the Kong. Let's get rid of this three bam. East. Two crack. Here we need to decide. Two, four, six, eight. We're in the middle game now. I think we need to commit. Let's just do it. We can take it with no jokers. We could take this with no jokers. This is where the jokers are going to be needed. Right here. Let's just commit. We can use this as joker bait. I keep dropping that. Okay, so we can Kong here. We could even Pung the six. What we really need help with would be here. This is Joker bait. So we have two, there's four, four. We need to discard. Let's get rid of this four ban. We'll give up on like numbers. Hold that for Joker bait. We need help here. Two dot, wrong number. West. Those twos were out. At least, yeah, they're all out now. This needs to be discarded pretty quick. There are none out. North, we have a Kong. If we get jokers, we could maybe play a Quint. Let's get rid of this East. Okay, we're going to just keep that. We'll see what happens. Let's draw. Nine bam. Seven crack. I should have gotten rid of that one bam. Three crack. We need a south or a flower. Oh, we got a one crack. Okay, here's what I would do. I would give up on the idea for the quint. We have no jokers. But now, if the north and south doesn't come in, we could play like numbers with ones. Four, 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 two. Let's get rid of the north. Seven crack. It's this player's turn, but up here, let's, let's pung and play six, seven, six, seven. Second from the bottom under consecutive run. So we're gonna discard. Actually, let's get rid of these dragons. White, they're pretty valuable. If you're not gonna use them, I think get rid of them. Drawing for north. Five dot, let's get rid of the north. Nine bam. Nine bam. One crack. Let's get rid of this dragon though. We need a south or a flower. Six dot. Six dot, that's the first one out. We need a pair here and here. This is the risk with this hand, these pairs. South. That's the second one down. Green. Oh, ho, ho, nice. One bam. They're one away from ready. We're going to pung or kong. Let's get rid of this five dot. So that is the second five dot. Thankfully, we have jokers. 
So we can play either like numbers with ones or north and south with ones if we can get these before that last south goes down. Seven bam. Three bam. Nine dot. Four crack. That would be Kong. Kong. Let's get rid of four dot. Six bam. Let's pong. And get rid of six crack. So it's this player's turn. Four dot. We're going to exchange, please. Thank you. We're going to use that for the flower. We need a Kong of flowers. Let's get rid of one crack. Two discards. We need help here badly. Drawing four north. Six crack. Okay, that is the second one. That's the third one down. That hand is no longer viable. This hand is no longer viable. We have to switch our hand and use that seven. Oh, this thing keeps... I'm just going to put it upside down right here. It keeps falling. Okay, we'll visit that in a minute. Let's come down here and draw. Oh, wrong suit. Eight dot. Four dot. This player, Pung of Sevens. I don't think there's anything they can do at this point. We're in the end of the middle game. Let's just draw and see what happens. Seven bam. Pung of sevens is out. Okay. We can use this with consecutive numbers. Five, six, seven, eight. You know, we don't really have to make a choice. Let's just get rid of this three crack. We could maybe switch to five, seven, seven, nine. Five, seven, seven, nine. Use these as joker bait. Five, seven, Pung Kong. Pung Kong for the nine crack, which we don't have any. That I think is the only recourse for this player. Because I don't think a consecutive hand is going to be possible. We have no eights and, and the sixes are, are down. Five, six, seven, eight. We have no eight. We have no fives. At least here we have sevens. All right, well, let's move on and see what happens. Five, seven, seven, nine, second hand down on the right. That's the only thing I think they can do. Let's draw. Six dot. Yeah, sixes are going down. Five crack. This hand is concealed. We've got pair, pair, pung, pair, five dots maybe. Oops, right here. Two bam. Those are already out. Flower. Oh, that is painful. That is very painful. We've committed here, and that is where that weakness is. If you don't have those pairs, that is the weakness for that hand. If you play that hand, try to have your pairs secured. Let's get rid of this six crack. We have no other recourse there. 
We are now going into the end game. So each player should decide if they're going to play defense or push to win. Here, I would probably consider folding, but we have very few discards and no dragons are out. There's one dragon out, one white and one red. So somebody's holding dragons, as we know, here. I would play to win here. This player, I would probably fold. Here, I would play to win. Joker, okay, well that's nice. Now, we have to decide if we're gonna give up on north and south with ones, and I would, because here we can now Kong and claim a discard for our pair. So I would give up on north and south with ones because there are two south out and we do not know where that other south is. So ah, I would think about discarding. Here we have two weaknesses. If we discard the south and go for like numbers with ones, we have only one weakness and that's with the flower. Let's give up north and south and play like numbers with ones since we got the joker. Six bam, someone got our joker. South, that's the third one. So they made the right choice to give up that north and south. So we're gonna draw here. One dot. Let's give up six dot, it's already out. We need to get rid of these flowers really because those are the riskiest tiles. Either that or start getting rid of all these sevens. Let's draw. Joker, okay, we're ready to win on a flower. Let's discard north. Oh no, we're not ready to win. We need to Kong one of these. We have one discard, five dot. Yeah, that's the third one. I would stay put. They get another joker. Let's give up the flower. Flower, and they're not ready. I would give up the flower. Nobody claimed it. Let's get rid of it. That is a safe tile. Flower. We're going to discard the north. And they are ready on a one dot or a one crack. And they could be playing anything with this one. Let's draw. Three dot. Six dot. Six dot. So sad. Three bam. We're going to get rid of these flowers. Nobody's wanting them. We're gonna draw nine crack. East. Eight dot. Flower. Nine dot. Red dragon. Okay, let's give up a green, see if someone takes it for joker bait. And in this case, no, because this is concealed. Nine dot. If they can get one more joker, they can get ready or a green dragon. Three dot. Let's get rid of the west. Nobody wants the one, uh, the three dot either. These are all safe tiles. Eight bam. Here we're not ready. Four bam. Joker. They got it. White. They need a five. Uh, they need a green dragon to win, or a five dot. But I think all the five dots are out. Only two five dots are out. We're gonna draw three crack. Let's get rid of the two. 
That's right here in the in the pung. Five dot. Mahjong. Five dot. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. They're ready to win on a one, one cracker, one dot. They could not get eights. Their hand was no longer viable when the six cracks went down. So who did you bet on? I bet on North. I bet on North. So I would have to pay 30 points. I bet on North. So I am paid like the person I bet on or I pay like the person I bet on. So they have to pay 60 because they discarded the winning tile. Since I bet on North, I also have to pay 60. These two pay 30. That was kind of painful. They were ready to win. Here's a one. They had to break up their hand so because it was no longer viable. So they had all these discards. This player was really hoping for Joker bait. That, that could have saved their hand. There's still one, two, three more picks and they have two discards. So I think they played it right. If you can compartmentalize your decision making and not be affected by what you know is in somebody else's hand, there's a lot that can be learned by playing solitaire. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try. In regards to this particular game, those sixes in consecutive run, second from the bottom, that was painful because their hand was no longer viable and they were already committed with the seven crack. So I think the lesson learned there is if you do not have your pairs, don't claim a discard for the pungs. If your pairs are secured, go ahead and pung. That was a risk by claiming that discard for the seven crack. Probably a mistake, a risky mistake. <laughs> okay, then the like numbers with ones, I think it was a smart move to give up the South and they were ready to win. So it was neck and neck for South and North. Who did you bet on and were you right? Let's talk about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.